and welcome to another Orange Juice cast. I'm joined by a man whose scientific studies have been done about him by his magnificent pasta to body ratio. It's Matt. Hello. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that thing that came out two and a half years ago. Yeah, now's the good, uh, the best time to talk about it. Yeah, how how is it doing? How has it been? The library, the general future. Let's discuss. It's so the, the state of the switch. Yeah. So, there you go. So two and a half years. What was it? March twenty seventeen. March twenty seventeen. Uh, for reference, when did you get your switch? Oh boy, I got it like eight months ago. Yeah, but I am sort of new to it all. That's and crazy. I've been, I've been playing catch up. See, um, I I, I bought is, it on the day. Yes, so that's good though. That that gives us both a different perspective. Different perspective. I a funny fun story actually about it. I I tr- wanted to do a video on me going to buy the Switch because mm-hmm. it was so sold out in lots of places. Yeah. Uh, that the only place I could buy it was in a, a home base. Yeah. A home base which had an Argos in it in um, West Byfleet, which is fucking out yeah, in the boondocks. Out. And so I was filming myself on the bus like, hey, I'm doing this. And then I bottled it halfway because yeah. I fucking hate people who just film themselves yeah, yeah, on so public transport. Like so I was like, yeah, I fucking true. hate myself. Yeah. And so I had like five videos where I was like, I'm ready to play the Switch. Yeah. And then just different places like, I'm ready to play the Switch. Yeah. And then I completely bottled it because some old woman looked at me and said, yeah. fucking <laughs> loser. So... I got the switch on that day, went straight over to our good friend and sexual lover, Otis Mormon's house. Yeah. He hates it when I say his last name. <laughs> um, we just undid the box. Mormon isn't his last name, by the way. It's actually his... It's Mormon. It's his religious beliefs. <laughs> he believes having all the women or none of the women, whatever, who cares? He loves Crystal. Um, he chose none of the women. Yeah. Uh, and You go we, to Otis's to play your brand new yeah, switch. Yeah, and we played... Like five seconds of Breath of the Wild, and then Otis didn't have enough money for it, so he bought it on Wii U. Oh wow! Amazing. That's that's the story. What a great story! Yeah. Um. So yeah, maybe uh, you know, there was a reason I waited a year and a half, mm. almost two years to buy it. So yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Most consoles launch, it's not really worth buying until it has a substantial catalogue of games. Yeah. Uh, Yes, however, you could you would argue Switch's lineup was pretty strong. Yeah, I started. Agree. Started with what strong. what is arguably one of the greatest games that's ever existed, in Breath of the Wild. Yep. Yeah. Which is, I mean, I I would argue that it is uh, a, an amazing achievement. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then you go on to I think what had Arms in the summer. Yep. Yeah. Had remakes of like. Um, I'm gonna actually gonna look this up. Yeah, look it up. Uh, I know I had March Mar- 2017 was like ten years ago. Mm. I know I had Mario Odyssey in October as well, uh, which I thought was incredible. I know a lot of people. Some people are like, oh, it's not as good as. But I, 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 what a towering achievement! And to think that we were spoiled with two of my favorite games I've ever played in one year, it really cemented how great that system was. Launch day. So launch day. Mm-hmm. One two switch. Do we remember that? No, because nobody does. It's, it showed off the the, the, the it weird was like it was like uh, it was like we Wii party. Sports. We, it's more play. Like we party. We play. Yeah, we play. Uh, but obviously, we play sold a bunch because it came with another Wii mm-hmm. and we sports was bundled in, and one two switch was near of those things. Yeah, so no one. It, it didn't sell the really fucking expensive Joy Con controller. One two switch. Zelda Breath of the Wild, mm-hmm. Skylanders, uh, well. J- Just Dance 2017, <laughs> Super Bomberman R, okay. I Am Setsuna, do you remember that? Uh, no. The uh, JRPG. Sure. World of Goo, Little Inferno, oh, like World Human of Resource Machine. Wow, all three of those games. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh. Snipper Clips, Fast. Snipper Clips, yeah. excellent. Good. Excellent game. Fast RMX, and then the two Shovel Knight expansions. Oh, yes, please. So we've got the indie darling. We've got one of the best games ever made. Snipper clips, great for co-op. So this was March. Within the launch window, which is basically things that came out in 2017, mm. you have uh, Binding of Isaac. Mm. You have things like Snake Pass and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You have Arms, uh, the Sonic Mania port. Oh. 
the Skyrim port, mm. Super Mario Odyssey. Mm. Uh, yeah, so when you look at it as the launch window, Celeste, um, there's a lot, a lot Th- of good there's, stuff. There's at least a good 10 games there that are well worth buying. You know, it's not like the greatest list you've ever heard, but people need to remember how, how normally, how god awful launch windows for consoles are. Red Steel and then Zelda. They're and normally, it. normally awful. So, Switch was, was pretty strong. Mm. Um, and then it's had this sort of weird policy. I say weird. A great policy in that every month or every two months a major release will come out or a major game will be on the system. A new major indie title will be there. Just as a fucking system seller. Although I do agree. <clears throat> I think the definition of a major release is pushed to its limits with some of the games that people claim are major Oh, releases. certainly. I, th- I think there's there's like at least every two months there's a major first party Nintendo release in some way. Mm, yes, but, but then, not necessarily fair, one that, that you buy. Mario so, Kart 8 Deluxe, <clears throat> did I need a Kart 8 port? I mean, it sold like 25 did, million, yeah, so, so what do I know? you know, pe- people want Mario... The thing is, the thing is, is the Switch's main advantage over any other console is its genius, uh, the Switch. It's the fact that you could switch between handheld and main console. Yeah. The fact that I can now play this on the train, I can now play this on the fucking, on the go, wherever I want. It's like, oh, you know, if I like, I really like Mario Kart 8, love Mario Kart 8, mm-hmm. but you have to wait until you get home, turn on your fucking yeah, sure, sure. Wii U. Now, I can just do it on the train. I mean, I... And yeah. then people just go, fuck! All these games, I'm going to buy them again so that I can just right. do them. Like, Binding it's, of Isaac, I bought again. It sounds obvious, but I, like, I bet, you know, half of these... Could, there's a lot of fucking ports on the Switch. Yeah. There's a lot. We'll get to that. But the reason is because even if you own it, like, oh, I'll buy the Xbox version, I'll buy the PS4 version when I'm at mm. home, but if I like it and I'll play it on the go, then maybe I'll also get the Switch one. Yeah. Or maybe the Xbox one clearly, or the Xbox and the PS4 port of the game clearly runs at a better frame rate maybe, clearly has better graphics, probably is the game that yeah. the developers wanted, but I might sacrifice that because I want to you know, play it on the Switch. I mean, Doom sold really well on the Switch yep. because it, it ran well in that there was no frame stuttering or anything. Had downgraded graphics, of course. Yep. But the main gameplay was intact, and you can just play it on the go. They added gyro controls to it as well, which is fucking sick. Yeah, and I'm so glad. Um, yeah, so if if someone was like, "Oh yeah, what console should I play Doom on?" Like Doom 2016, mm. what console should I play Doom on? I would say PC, Xbox One, PS4. Is it Xbox One? I would say buy a sure. fucking home console that was designed yeah. for. But. Everyone still bought it on the Switch anyway because people want to play it on the go, which yeah. is a um, f- quick, quick, fun story. Before the Switch, what was the code name? Um, it Shit, was, what was it? Not Revolution or Dolphin. No, no Revolution was Revolution the Wii. Revolution was the Wii. Um, <sighs> what, oh. I was like, Project Dolphin or Project... No, that was GameCube. For Project... Um, really quick. I'm pretty sure like there Dreams was or something? Ah, the NX. The Project NX. Do you remember the NX? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, codename NX. Right. I remember before we'd even known what the Switch was, we knew the NX, in quotes, was coming. Mm. We had no idea what it was. There was rumours, obviously, hey, it's going to be like a portable device. Yeah. Or it's going to be a thing which allows you to switch between console and handheld. Sure. Uh, I made a big... This is way before like March 2017. I made a huge Reddit post where I basically said... This is absolutely ludicrous. It's absolute nonsense. You're not going to be able to have a powerful home console which you plug into your TV and then take it away and play it on the yeah. go. I was like, they might do some gimmick where you play your home console on the TV and then you can take the console away and play a mini game. Yeah, I was really I, worried. That I was, was like, was this be. is what it's going to be. Then you play a mini game on the bus and it gives you experience points or rupees. Yeah, so, yeah, and then you plug your console back in, and oh, there we go, you, you made some progress. But no, nope, they're just like, fuck it, it's just the main game. Um, and I mean, I know it's obviously you reduced the its resolution to seven twenty p. Right, like obviously it looks better at home console, but it 
It I don't think it's that. Sometimes it works better as a handheld. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's that much difference. There was a lot of talk about the dock being like some sort of powerful thing, which would be like, you know, uh, and the console itself would be a piece of shit that you would have to deal with on the go. On mm. the go. But then when you slam it into the dock, the dock powerful power bottom yeah. does all, <laughs> does all the heavy lifting <laughs> and powers the bitch up, and then you can play it. In, fucking 1080p but that's not the case at all no the, developers the, want to keep the game s- as similar as you can in either yeah which is actually also not what I expected mm. the dock is effectively it has some like cooling properties It's a, so it, you can maybe push it a little bit more normally they do it resolution yeah. it's effectively just a holder so you can plug it into a HDMI cable basically yeah um, and I mean I, 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 I again when they announced it I was like that, this is awesome I expect the home console to be like a home console when you plug it in, and when you rip that shit out of the dock, it's gonna be like a piece of shit. Mm. But it's not at all. Um, obviously, the games do suffer for this, yeah. and I'd like to talk about that. But uh, it is good that they did it this way. This is probably the way to do it. Yeah, I agree. Um, I The thing is, I probably play the Switch about 95% handheld. Yeah. This is actually an interesting discussion. It's just purely because... We had a whole topic on this, because yeah. I know people who were like, I only play it handheld. And yeah. I never dock this thing. And I'm like, I always dock it. My brother always plays it docked. Well, it depends he what it is. Like, it. Smash Bros, I I'll, I'll, I can, I'm quite happy to play, but if I want to play seriously, I'll dock it. Mm-hmm. Breath of the Wild, I played a lot of it docked, because it was such a beautiful game, yeah. that I just yeah. really wanted to just like look at it. Uh, which is, I mean, it's different ways. Different play- I mean, obviously, I played a lot of Breath of the Wild handheld. Yeah. But there are certain games which lend themselves far better to a handheld so, experience. Two, Fire Emblem, for example, was the one I'm doing at the moment. Two and a half years in, I would have expected by now there would have been a general consensus either the Switch is a handheld console you can dock or the Switch is a home console you can take away. Mm-hmm. But no, not really. It's blurred the line massively. Like, th- there is no, from what I can see, overwhelming majority of one or the other. No. Everyone I speak to, like almost half say, yeah, I only play it docked, and half say I only basically only play it handheld, sure. and half like oh, I can't do half and half. Sure, um, it's really interesting that that it's not gone one way or the other. But I also I really thought it would. I also believe that tailors based on what the people what people are doing. So I travel on the train to work mm. every day, so I play a lot of it handheld, but. When I get home, I do like to dock it and play it well, sometimes. And I mean, it, it depends on the situation and the game, I think, I actually, which is why that well, helps. I think it all depends on the game. Mm. And, you know, of course, all right, it depends on both. What I'm trying to say is, from a developer's point of view, I also thought developers would make up their minds and mm. pick, right? Sure. For instance, the DS library of games is obviously way different to the Wii and Wii yeah. ones. Not just like, oh, the Wii, obviously, you know, I'm not talking about dumb stuff. Wii U has better graphics. We, yeah, we get that. Yeah. What I mean is, there are, there are games designed specifically for the 3DS, yeah. which, if they were made for the Wii U, wouldn't just be an upscale version. No. They wouldn't make it for the Wii U. They'd be like, oh, this is a handheld game, so we make it in a way yeah. so that it's a handheld experience. Yes. I thought developers would eventually do the same thing with the Switch. Like we treat this as a like, you know, um, no shooters here, right? Do you know you can? Yeah, sort of. Do you know like with the GBA, GBA games? Yeah. There was a like GameCube add-on. Yeah. When you play GBA games on the GameCube, you don't think to yourself, "Oh, I'm playing a GameCube game." Mm. You're like, "Oh, it's clearly this game is clearly made for GBA." Yes. And I'm pl- booting it, and I'm playing, and it's play- I'm playing it in high resolution on my screen, mm-hmm. which isn't a world away of what you do with the Switch. It's just a smaller, designed, however, more retro style game almost. However, but yeah, like in the in the scope of design, like developers, you'll are, get a lot more RPGs. You'll get a lot more basic platforms. You'll get a lot more basic like Zelda, like top down Zeldas. No massive sprawling three D open world sort yeah. of shooters or massive. How do I put it? Like with ports, normally I don't know if you remember with the Wii. Let's just take Call of Duty for an example. Sure. Call of Duty Four comes out on all the comes out on PC, PS3, Xbox 360. Sure. The Wii version, they don't get Call of Duty 4. It's not a downscaled Call of Duty 4 with worse graphics. They get their own Call of Duty 4 spin-off, 
which is made by a B team in the company, mm. and it's called it was like Call of Duty Hardline or something. I'll look it sure, up. I don't remember actually. Right. I remember playing Call of Duty. But there was 4. there was loads of games like that. There was loads of games where the home con the, the home consoles, the Sony, Microsoft, and PC versions get the A versions of the titles, and the Wii gets a spin off version of a title, which is clearly different. Mm. Right, or they'll strip out parts of it. Like I remember, World on World at War or something had less online options, less blah blah blah. Sure. Because just because it couldn't. But with the Switch, I don't feel that is as much happening. No, games are definitely like oh, the visuals are completely downgraded, and it doesn't run as high resolution. Maybe it doesn't run as good. Yeah, the frame rate isn't as good. However, we left everything in it. It's the same game you could play on sure. your other home consoles. You're not going to get a. We are going to get a lesser experience to some extent. But, but it's not the, like the gameplay a, message and the gameplay. This game isn't developed by someone else. No, which is what was happening on the yeah. Nintendo consoles. Our A team works on the PS4, PS whatever, P, Sony, Xbox, PC, and our B team works. Our B team works on a spin-off for the Nintendo console. Yeah, that's not happening. Anymore. No, it's the same game on your Switch, just you know, downgraded visually. And it even shows with the co- cross-play of, like, say, Rocket League, Minecraft and stuff. You can just play Nintendo Xbox just together. 100%. Because it doesn't matter, because it's the same game. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, that's that's really great. It's really great to see. It's, I mean... There's Fortnite. I know it's Fortnite. Fortnite. But PC Switch cross-play? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's great. Uh, I, I'm just shocked at how... It's such a great idea, and they've executed it so well. And it's got lots of great games that have come with it. And, I mean, I know that people moan that it's a port machine. And there are there's multiple reasons for that. Obviously, to do with the Wii U's absolute abysmal fucking, you know, performance. It, it performs so poorly, but the games on it were excellent. It had a really excellent library of games. What, the Wii U? Yeah. Like some, it had a sparse library. Ha, it had a sparse library, but there were some real fucking gems on there that didn't get any sales. Like Bayonetta 2. Sure. Who the fuck bought Bayonetta 2? Review, uh, reviewed like 95%. Tropical Freeze and stuff. Sure. I Yeah, what? But, you know, these games review really well, but get bought by a fraction of the people that bought it on Switch. And so, you know, they're just like, oh, we're putting Pikmin 3 on fucking Switch now, which they haven't done yet, but they will. And it'll be like, oh, great. Sure, we'll buy that because, you know, fuck, I like Pikmin, I like Pikmin 3, but I didn't have a Wii U. Now I've got. Now I can just play it on my Switch on the go. Uh, yes. Now, I wasn't surprised by this, but I will say that a part of me is still disappointed that yet again, and it's going to be like this for the rest of the time. Mm-hmm. I'm convinced now, but yet again we get a console generation where two of the home consoles, Sony and Microsoft, have consoles with power very similar to each other Mm -hmm. one of them always claims more over the other but let's face it they're almost really the same box the world's most powerful console console. okay whatever but they're almost the same box it's not like an experience you can solely have on one of the agree and nintendo have again for a generation released the weaker console now it's happened obviously with the wii and the wii u Mm -hmm. Which were like we have, we're going to focus on a unique selling point rather than go for a box which is the same as Sony and Microsoft. However, and it's going to be like that forever now. Yeah, they're not interested in competing. However, a part of me is a little bit disappointed that we're never going to get a GameCube ever again. And by that I mean we're never going to get a situation where you can buy the Nintendo console and you get everything. You get all the games in their all all the games in the best glory for all the third parties plus all your first party Nintendo games. Mm. Right? I mean I don't I don't know. I kinda of dis- I, I can't I, disagree with that actually. I, I feel like if you seriously love games and you want to play all the best games of this generation, then you have the Switch and one of an Xbox, a PS4 or a gaming PC. Sure. Because I mean, otherwise, yeah. you miss out too much. Well, yeah. I it mean, probably goes both ways, but the fact is, is that it didn't necessarily have to be like this. No, but I mean, you're always gonna, you're always gonna have that when you have four, I mean, four, if we're counting, I suppose, you've got obviously Xbox, PS, PS4, and Nintendo. None of them want to give up their market share. 
why would they want to give up them? You know, they want to be the console that people go to exclusively for games. I agree. Because it makes money. You know, yeah. it's always going to be like that. Sure, and then sure. PC is just going to be like, what the fuck ever, who cares? Just any little developer put your game on there. Uh, you're always going to get that. And I feel like it's a lot better with the Switch. It's not like the Wii U where it's like, well, this is just a tank fucking... It is better. I, I def- like I said before... The Wii had weird things where they'd chuck a B team on the Wii port yeah. and get shit right. You're never going to get the Wii, any of the The Wii games. U, they just stopped releasing ports for. Sure. Uh, the third party games, they, they would just not release it on the Wii U. Yeah. The Switch is better for it. However, you know, it sounds far fetched because it's never going to happen again and it's no longer Nintendo's best interest to do it. Mm. But it's not out of the realm's possibility that they could have just released, forget the portable thing, they could have just released a box on the same hardware uh, in terms of power and graphical capability as Sony and Microsoft's and we could have had a console that got all the best third party games and all the first party Nintendo games I just uh, but I mean that's not where Nintendo are going to go for they, they make a console that's less powerful and has weirder quirks so that it can be completely unique and Agreed, it can yeah. be cheaper and people will buy it more I agree which is I mean I you know I like that sort of mentality I mean I don't care I, don't, I mean, I've you know I've got a PS4, but how many games have I played in it? I can I, I could name me three on my hand. Yeah, but you also have a PC which you play on. I've, a PC. I mean, I'm not you know you got I've, you got to have a PC right. nowadays for all the indie games. That are right, coming exactly. Out. So what like, I'm saying, fair is... enough. I mean, but a lot of those indie games do come to Switch, but yeah, just eventually. you know, but there's no doubt you need a, a PC in some yeah. way. It's just the way of the world now. If you want to play the thing, you know, Undertale came to Switch, great, but three years later. Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, this is exactly cool. my point. I think things are coming to Switch more because the Switch is selling so well. Agree. That you're, we're going to get those ports. We're getting, the, you know, the Witcher three, whatever, fine. But you know, we're getting Doom Eternal the same day on yeah, the Switch. Agree. Cool, great, yeah, awesome. That's great for those people who want Doom Eternal and don't can't afford a gaming PC. You know, and it's just if it keeps selling well and it performs well enough. Because, you know, eventually we're going to get to a point where just the computing power and the, the sheer processing, like, strength of a console will pretty much equal out. And, you know, graphics don't mean... You know, you know who cares how much fidelity the fucking strands of Henry or Croft have? I'm not sure about it, this. No, it doesn't matter. I don't think it's I all about the gameplay. I don't think I agree with this. See, I, I, I'm not a graphics guy. I think it's completely pointless in some ways. And it, it, eventually it will plateau to just, it looks good enough that... I don't know. agree with this, because even if we take out graphics, games will try and be bigger. Games will try and do more complex things with their AI. Certainly. Games will need bigger processors. Well, the, games will need bigger hardware power. It's purely for the open and Nintendo, world, though. And Nintendo will then release a console which isn't as powerful as its competitors. No, sure. And some of the games you will either miss out on, or... Some of the games you will play, and they will be they will run worse. Yeah. And again, I you know I don't hold this against Nintendo because the Switch has sold a bazillion units, so they don't give a fuck about this, and they frankly shouldn't. I'm just saying it's not out of the realms of possibility that they didn't have to do this. Mm, I don't know. I I for a while I prefer that they would have done this. I think if they'd have gone for oh another powerful whatever Nintendo console they would just lose out the market share they would have to make less quality fucking first party titles to to deal with this they would have to just pump out just like fucking the cheapest whatever we need to make this profit because the machine's more expensive we need to just get as much profit as we can I think you know if you carve out that market share for yourself with a cheaper console you have much more free reign with your budget everything to make just funner games more experimental more out there games I that's just I my I, that's what I would think would imagine happen. if Nintendo released a box and they said hey all of your favourite third party games are going to be developed along because now this box is on the same power scale as Sony and Microsoft mm. all your favourite third party games are now going to be released in this box in the exact same quality as the other two because it's very easy to port you don't need to 
you know. Well, it would be an absolute no-brainer, right? That Xbox and PS4 There's, would completely die off. They, they say that, and they also say, oh, also you can get all your favourite first-party Nintendo exclusives, yeah, as well. I mean, that is the best of both worlds. Everybody would want, you know, it would just be the best thing. Well, then, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's sort of a shame that they didn't do it. It's just, you know, I don't think they ever will do it. But it is sort of a shame. It's, it's not in like, my opinion. If they could do that, though, if they physically could do that. They would, obviously. I don't see why they would. Why, why couldn't they do it? We're going off topic for the... Because topic, it would just but... be so expensive. Yeah, it would be. But it's not like an Xbox and a Sony console aren't expensive. No, And but... they still make profit off them. No, but that's the... But their target audience aren't people who have super... Just can't just drop 400 quid. I guess... I think this is more a case of... Would hardcore, in the biggest quotation marks yeah. you can ever see... By that I mean... Millions of people who only buy Call of Duty for their consoles sure. be like, oh, I'm going to go buy that Nintendo one, which is synonymous with, yeah, you know, not being like that. You know, no, ma- no matter what people say and how great the games are, they'll be like, oh, it's for kids, it's colourful, blah, blah, blah. Right, let's um, move on. But Let's move on from talking about why yeah. why isn't the Switch an Xbox. Yeah. Um, quickly, it's true. quickly. Joy-Cons. Yeah. IR sensors. IR? Well, uh, the, the infrared fun, the sensors, thing, yeah, yeah. The infrared sensors, yeah. I am. Uh, a HD rumble. Yes. Gyro. Uh, yeah. How do we feel about these? Um, because, if I'm not mistaken, two out of the three are going on the new light model. Uh, we'll yeah, talk, we'll so you about. can't... I don't think you can detach the, the switch. You can't, you can't detach okay, the... so we'll talk about the new light model as well, all right? Yeah. New light model, smaller. You can't detach the Joy-Cons. Mm-hmm. The IR sensor in the bottom's gone. HD Rumble's gone. I believe it's the most gyro. I think it has to have gyro. Yes, because yeah. so, the game is baked into the gameplay. Lots of games are baked in with it. Um, yeah, it's, it's purely, I think it's to make it cheaper, lighter plastic. Oh, of course, or, that's why they've done it. So, and because people just, oh, I just want to play this game. That is what, so they've, they've removed these features because they want their new light version to be cheaper and lighter. Yeah. However, it also means that Nintendo have said, mm-hmm. you know what, these features do not matter. Yes. And it also means that if a developer releases a game, mm. unless they only want the game to be played on non-light consoles, which they never will because it's just shooting itself in the foot, yeah. it means a developer is never going to use the IR sensor or HD Rumble ever again. Absolutely. So um, they're dead. Yes. Um, and the, the IR... That's fair enough. The IR, we never saw <laughs> anything. Uh, one, two, Switch might use it. No one fucking played it. Yeah. So please phone in or send a send a postcard. Throw throw a package full of shit it, at my doorstep. Send a fax if you ever played with the IR sensor or on smoke one, signal switch, me and cross t- the mountain. T- tell us how if it was good. Uh, HG Rumble had some use. It's, yeah, that's the thing is I, I kind of like, liked it a little bit. I mean, it was I mean, interesting. Sure. I mean, I feel like when the game came out initially. When, when the Switch first got announced, it was like, right, the main selling point is you could Switch, obviously. Yeah. But, uh, is that it? And then they just went, we need something else. We got we got an RR sensor. We've got HD, ru- Rumble. HD Rumble. Ice in the glass. So you can, you can feel ice. how many balls are how in How many the... ice cubes are in yeah. the glass. And it's like, that's cool and all. And it feels cool for that. Like, oh yeah, that's cool. But how, how much can you use that? Even during the announcement, they were like, hey, look, you just pull this fucking tablet out of here. And the game just continues in your hands. Yeah. And everyone was like, at that point, everyone was like, oh, I'm, I'm buying this. I'm buying this. Or yeah. I'm not buying this. Depending on how much you love that idea and how much use you get out of that idea, you've decided then and there if you're getting this. Yes. Not. When they were like, oh, how do you remember? And oh, yeah, there's an IR sensor. Everyone's like, oh, okay. We, we, oh, um, okay then. I think the Mario Party developers used it for two Mario Party mini games. Yeah. It is strange. That's it. it. it is, and, and I mean, it's Rumble. It is a bit great, strange. But. It is totally unnecessary. In I mean, a lot of the because I mean, most of the games you'll get on Switch are just designed to just be straight up control. You know, like like a normal handheld controller yeah, like, game. Oh, you can plug in a USB controller and yeah, play. I love that the Switch you can do that with. By yeah, that was that's great. fucking awesome. Um, which is uh, yeah, they just they just cutting those out because they they know they know the main reason. They know no developer is going to touch it. It's no. interesting with those sorts of things. Um. How do I put this? Right, let's just look. Let's just think about the DS, yeah. Mm. The DS was like, okay, developers, we, we want you to use this touchscreen. 
we can't force you to. We're heavily, heavily, you know, banking on this touchscreen. Mm. With HD Rumble and IR sensors, it felt like Nintendo were like, we're going to put these in and we'll see if anyone uses them. It kind of feels like the for, 3DS almost. Yeah, yeah. That, like it the, made the a 3D. 2DS because... Oh, look. Well, uh, no, no, I remember there was, there was the Mario game which used a 3D perspective for like a couple of puzzles. Yeah, yeah. And then... It looked cool and linked between worlds, yeah, yeah. but that was it. Like yeah, yeah. nothing else is used. Agree, agree. And they just went, "Oh well, this fucks with people's eyes." And uh, yeah, yeah. let's just turn. Everyone just turns it off. Yeah. Fine, fuck it, get rid of it. So yeah, no loss. But it is interesting that they try these things. I yeah. wonder if we'll ever see any. I mean, hate, I could see something like HD Rumble ever c- coming back. Like, sure. The IR sense is dead. You never get that again. Mm. But um, I just, I, I can't think of any like ideas you could use in because you can obviously feel things in your hands. Yeah. But like, unless you're you're programming like some sort of hard stealth game, no, but I don't to, like, think it's a bomb yeah, or something. I, get it. I don't think it's got to be that in depth though. Basically, every console still has every mm. uh, gamepad for has, every a, has rumble still has something. rumble. If you just put a better version of rumble there, yeah, that can do slightly different things. Yeah, it just it feels, des- it feels cool. You don't need to design the game around rumble. No, but the point is, is that rumble will still be used all the time. Mm. If you put a better version in it. I could see that coming. That's back. the thing. That's the thing is, I I agree. It feels cooler. Yeah. Like whenever you all get ding it does ding. Feel nice. like, it, oh, cool. That's great. It feels surprisingly you know. nice. Um, but it's it like, yeah, it, it isn't often. They don't. Is like when they first did the Rumble Pack, they wanted certain features to be used for the Rumble Pack. You had to put the f- control on the floor, it goes like things. But then it's like, well, it's just a you know an extra thing like you cooler like sound. Castlevania. You like, you like Castlevania. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> Psycho Mantis. <laughs> um, yeah. Right. So I, I like the Switch. Let's, let's move on to... Obviously, well, the Switch Lite is going to sell... Well, let's quickly do it. Switch Lite. They hit me with a quick two-sentence response on these questions. Firstly, do you feel upset that you bought a Switch and now they're bringing out a new model two years later? Mm. And now knowing what the Switch Lite is, do you feel burned as a customer? No, not really. I agree. Because... It clearly has weaknesses that the normal Switch yeah. does not have. Uh, I know, quite like taking the Joy-Cons out and holding them in my hands. Well, yeah, you can't dock the light. Yeah. For so, instance. so, like, I don't care because it's clearly suited for a purpose. Yeah. That, and, and they're not releasing a better console for cheaper. No. It's, it is clearly... It is stripping out features, but features that aren't necessary to a lot of people. It clearly has strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. So that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I agree. Quick one. If they release a Pro model... Mm. Will you feel burned? How do you mean promo? Oh, like what? How do I mean? Uh, this is the thing. <sighs> like, is it is it is it cheaper than the original Switch? And is it is it is superior in a lot of ways? It's the same price as the Switch was released mm. two years ago. Okay. So it's gone down. Obviously, price Switch prices have gone down. Same price as it's released two years ago, and it runs games at a better frame rate and a higher resolution because it's slightly more powerful. Sure. Um, me personally, I don't care that much okay. about graphics and things like that anyway, but um, I feel like I've got such mileage out of the Switch so far, like way more than any other console I've ever played. Yeah. Um, that, oh, okay, sure. But it's, it's even though it's only been two and a half years, it feels like I've had this fucking thing forever. Yeah. I've played so much on it. Um, so I sure whatever yeah, does, doesn't bother me. I, in fact, I'd probably buy it because it's getting banged up. That's they, how yeah, I, I'm sure they do it, or places would do a deal where it's like trading your old Switch yeah. and you get money off a pro. Fucking Joy-Con drift, am I right, you fucking cunts? Fix your Joy-Cons first. Yeah, fix my we'll fucking get Joy-Cons. We'll get we're, we're gonna talk shit we don't like about the Switch in a minute. Sure, we've gone a bit far. Yeah, there's Just one main word. thing I don't like with all these uh, with all these pro models. I'm talking about fucking Xbox One S. Yeah. Wait, is that what it's called? Yes, yes. And the PS4 Pro? The Xbox One X and then the Xbox One so S. S is a slim No, the version. Xbox One XS. No. No, or is it the Xbox One? Who cares? It's nonsense. Xbox, nobody buys, right. nobody buys that fucking console. X, Xbox One X is a Pro, in quotation marks, version. Microsoft are hemorrhaging. PS4 money. Pro, even the new 3DS? Oh yeah, the new 3DS. Right? With the little, the, the yeah. specifically two games that had like another Joy, yeah. Joy controller. Oh. The thing is with all these games, the fact is is that they're supposed to, because they run alongside the uh, weaker, older versions of the same console, 
developers can't only develop for the pro version mm. because then they just hemorrhage all their market. Yeah. So they just make a normal game yeah. and either the pro version has no upsides to it or some they do gimmicky some feature. little tweak thing where it loads slightly quicker or something. Yeah. But it's never worth it. No. It's never worth it. So these things must sell because all the companies are doing them. Mm. I don't know who buys them though because it's not like... Well, I mean, look at the DS Lite. Like... Uh, no, the, no, the DS Lite is a big difference. Yeah, there's no, there's no actual was, gameplay changes. Yeah, and exactly. The DS Lite so, sell, sold because it's a complete redesign mm. and you didn't have the fat DS screen anymore and the screen's better and it's lighter yeah. and etc. Et there's no there's no real comparison. But, but no one bought the really. new 3DS. No. I didn't buy it. Did you buy it? No, Because no, really. no one developed games for it. Because why would they? Because no one bought it. This is just a DS. I mean, yeah. that's the thing is... So I there's a lot of rumours about a pro model coming for the Switch. It's not mm. confirmed, obviously. I reckon it will. Oh yeah, absolutely. But I don't see the point. No, because um, no matter how good it is, developers won't develop exclusive for it and take advantage of all of its new features or new power because they still gotta make sure that they don't. Completely it's, got, it's got to run on the blue old blue ball. Yeah, the absolutely. Old, people with the old console. Well, it's like when they were they were talking about like uh, PS4 was talking about something like the 4.5 or something. Where it's, yeah. this is way more powerful. The 4.5. Yes, what they're talking about. Basically. Yeah, PS4 Pro is yeah. way more powerful. That yeah, sorry, I yeah. completely forgot. And then. But they always obviously went, well, we've still got 30-something million people who've got a PS4. So, yeah. so we can't develop for it. So, it's like, oh, cool. But like, if they're going to try and iterate, then when does the, when's the cutoff point? That right. this doesn't work on PS4.0. Yeah. The, why, this works on PS4.5 only. Yeah. But how do you convey that to right. the customer? Well, this is, why, this is why there's a lot of talk about iterations. No more generations. We're going to just have consoles like that iterate it's not going to happen I mean it's not like a, P- a PC which yeah, is literally yeah. just parts and it has like there's apps and different things you can do on a PC that tells you if it's it's, it's a different thing from a console even with the, even with PC it gets to a point where like most games that are released on a PC are released to somewhat the same standard yes I mean it's and, pretty... then, and then you get a few outliners which are like their unique sell- selling point is we're going to push your PC do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'd I'd say with the graphics card I've got, which is a 1060, you're gonna run pretty much every game. Yeah, exactly. Like, because they're all roughly. Because that's you know you can run most games that I've played on a fucking on a fucking you know old fat fucking Windows 2000 you sure. know Experian PC because it's just like pixel art or whatever. But you know the base, this is it. Most people have this in a Mac, you know whatever. This is the level you can play it at. Right, let's talk about things we don't sure. like. Sorry, keep getting off topic. That's fine. Um, there's one big thing I'd like to talk about about the Switch, yep. which is, in my opinion, the worst thing about it. Yeah. Not the fact that the controllers annoy me, but it's the eShop. Yep, let's talk about the online in general. The eShop and the virtual console. And specifically. we'll talk about the online as well. Okay. Because we're, pay- we're, we're paying for this. Yeah, there's a, yeah. We're so, paying for this. I'm paying for this service. And I mean, I always hear a lot of people go, yeah... But at least it's not as bad as X. Yeah. At least it's not as bad as as Wind. What's the fucking Xbox Live? Xbox Live. At least it's not as bad as PlayStation Plus. No, it's not nearly as expensive well, as those. Okay, expensive. Yeah, but, okay. but because it definitely is way worse than both of those. Yes, of course it is. Yeah, it, absolutely. Because it's not. But I mean, the you know when you have the Wii and the Wii U, which were free, it was completely free. And then you go from that to something that you have to pay for, yeah. which is in every way no different. It's just you're gonna pay for this pay because for of course you could. we can charge because we've we can. Seen the, we've seen the others do it, and you know we know you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay money to play Smash you Online. Play Smash of course online. you are. You want to fucking stomp, you, you want to stomp twelve year olds online with Joker, and we fucking know it. So you're gonna pay for it. Now. It was always gonna be like that. It was always gonna be like that. You know, we they knew that we we fucking came out in our droves to play these games online but and they can charge for it and obviously it's way cheaper you know that i'm glad if it was at fucking xbox prices i'd feel fucking ripped the yeah. fuck off it's, i don't think it's cheap enough what they offer no i mean i think it should be free i yeah, absolutely they, they don't offer anything for the money but that's the thing is there was the, there was this sort of like vague promises that there was going to be like uh releasing loads of like old school games that you can just have for free yeah and then is going to also unique features and things you can do with the online service and I was like okay you know for five quid a month or whatever Mm -hmm. that's not bad but 
what we really got is fucking Wrecking Crew on Switch, which you can't keep. You only rent it for that time. It's it's proper awful. Awful. <laughs> awful. It's, it's proper. The Nintendo Online Service is proper like a such a disappointing money grab. Mm. That's all it is. And it, it wouldn't be as bad if we didn't have at least, I'd say, two generations now yeah. where fans have begged Nintendo to get somewhat near the level that yeah. Sony and Microsoft are doing with their online services. At least you the know, actual the online. The Xbox 360 came out in 2006. Yeah. The Switch Online is worse than it. Yes. Than the 360. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's no doubt there. I mean, at least no, no the actual performance of the online is leaps and bounds better than the Wii. And it's... I mean, and it is because you Maybe. play a lot of these games, and you know, fr- you know, you get it's lag. The Wii, all right, lag is I, way. I never, better. I never found a single match on Super Smash Bros. Brawl when I was out. Sure. So yes, whereas it is. I've played. Mo- I mean, there are lag, lucky matches. But, yeah. But it, I've played lots of matches which are fine on. Right, on but it's Switch. It, compared to everything else, and compared to the year we're in. No, it's still not oh, good. Enough. Oh, it's god awful Com- yeah. compared to Halo Three two thousand six. Right. Right. God awful. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no doubt, and it's you know, I'm just thinking of a oh, compared to what we had with Nintendo, it's at least a step forward. But in some ways, it's a step back. I just, I really just don't understand it. I don't know how, you know, PS both PS4 and Xbox give you free AAA games every month mm. with your subscription. Yeah. You don't get to pick them, and some months are obviously worse than others. Sometimes mm-hmm. you get oh, I don't want either of those two games. Sometimes it's really good. Do you get to keep the games? Yeah, you just download it and you keep it. It's keep it forever. See, that's fucking crazy. Forever. You have to down- yeah, fun. you have to download it in the month. So yeah. a game's released. For sure, a month. sure. Once it's downloaded in your hardware, you, it's done. That's forever. fucking crazy. Uh, I got Rocket League for free in this way Brilliant. because the first month it was released, it was also on PS Plus. Wow. And I got it for free. I wow. never, I never paid for Rocket League. Wow. And Rocket League's awesome. Rocket League's fun. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, and then, and then Switch is like, oh, this week you get to rent. Uh, ice climbers but that's it it's like the way it was sold is that oh you're gonna get like loads of N64 or GameCube games or fucking SNES games you can just have them as a your exclusive member like they did with the with people who bought the 3DS early they got the, the um, ambassador pass you yeah. get loads of free games great you get to keep them it's just for free I mean and that's what I was yeah, expecting yeah, yeah. and I was like fuck imagine that like oh I'm paying £5 a month for fucking yeah not the greatest online but I get Paper Mario for free just cr- oh, right, cool. Right. Let's say Nintendo don't want to do the. We're going to give you an old AAA game that mm. doesn't sell anymore because it got released nine months Which ago. Which discontinued it. So yeah. Just, yeah. They don't want to do that because Nintendo prices actually on games very rarely come down anyway. Mm. And they've got a big thing about not cheapening their games yes. or whatever they want, right? So Nintendo don't want to do that. If only they had the most amazing back catalogue of games that they could just throw at people for free. Yeah. Like, imagine if they were like, oh, this month you get a choice of, like, two GameCube games that you can download. Now, we've, we've not touched them. We've, these aren't HD remakes. These aren't upscaled. Sure. These are nothing apart from the fucking file. The original ROM. Now, emulation is very hard. I fully understand how actually difficult emulation is. Mm. But uh, you have some of the most amazing back catalogs of games ever. Yeah. And you don't use this. The... Nintendo Wii, again, 2006, could at least run N64 games. Yeah. Right? Yes. I don't see how they could not get everything up to N64 emulation running on the Switch with a bit of effort. It, this this is the decision. The e, the virtual console so is imagine such if, a contentious imagine issue. if they said it's 20 quid a year, right, the online service? It's five quid a month, I think. Actually, is it? Yeah. I can't remember. Five Whatever you pay for it and they say, hey... Every month, you get a beautiful for joke. free. You get a selection of a NES, SNES, or N64, a couple of NES, SNES, or N64 games, and then this, one. This month it's Super Mario Kart and Lilac Wars, and yeah. if you download both, they just stay on your console. Yeah, awesome. I mean, no, no one now, no one ever, and again, there is no extra. Okay, apart from getting the emulation to work, which we've seen you do on both Wii and Wii U. Yes. You got to get the you got to do the upfront thing to get the emulation to work. Uh, yes. Right. But now no one's complaining about any. That's it. That's all the work. And now everyone shuts up and just loves all the shit. I. Doing. 
the, the fact that the you virtual console... You just give console, games from 1999. How they haven't back. released so many virtual console games on the Switch, I, it, it baffles me. Yeah. This 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 tr- Smaug's treasure yeah. of beautiful, amazing old games that they just have access to. It, it I mean, sure, it does cost them money to, you know, rescale the, the frame rate, the, the frame rate, the resolution, yeah. you know, rewire the controls. Well, it's, just, it's just the emulation. Sure. You just got to get the yeah. emulation working. That's going to cost you a little bit of money, but... The amount of money, the profit you'll make from that is unbelievable. I bought so many games on the Wii. Like, so many N64 games, so many SNES games. Complete joke that you have to buy them again with the new consoles. Well. I know, it's a complete joke. But I still did, and people will. You know, I just don't understand why Nintendo don't. It's such an obvious market move. Just such an... Oh, here you go. Here's just our library of N64 games. We're not making any money off them yeah, at the moment, whereas right, we can right. make money off yeah. them now. Let's just, let's just, even if it's not in the fucking online service, they just the fact that they can't do yeah, this. No, there is no virtual console. I don't know why. Let's just ship, oh. right. Let me let's just get rid of all assumptions. We'll ship it all the way back. They have NES emulation working on the Switch. Yes, I'm, it's it's very easy. Obviously, to do. because they release NES games, I'm almost certain that they have SNES emulation working on the Switch. It can't be much. Well, uh, so a it's all SNES it's, controller switch switch right. Joy Cons got yeah. trademarked literally today. Yeah, it's surely coming. I'm guessing it's been there for. It's a while. It's been coming for a while, right? If they said every month, here's a selection of five SNES and NES games mm. for you to download for free and to keep. That's a start. Yeah. Instead, we get two a month, and they're supposed to be like. Two NES games that to rent, which you rent, and they're supposed to be like. Oh, it's oh, Kid Icarus this month. You get like a co-op thing, which no one cares about, oh, I don't because know. it's like no, and maybe leaderboards. Oh, leaderboards or something. Yeah, no, I, no, I don't no, no. It. I, it I don't understand. Is baffling. I don't. Understand. And the only thing that I can physically think of as a corporate reason as to why they haven't just gone, yeah, let's just put it all on, let's just do it, is that is that they had the SNES and the NES Mini, classic. If that, uh, and, I, okay. and they didn't want to jeopardise the sales that they would make. Got it, and those both those things sold mega markets. Yes, they did. However, if that was the case, why is there not a NES, Cla- NES Mini 2 or a SNES Mini 2? Yeah. Because there's 20 games on the NES and 20 games on the SNES. Why is there not a some Game Boy like Mini, that, right? a Game Boy Advance Mini? Some of that, you know. right? Uh, so, you know, why don't you just sell the games that aren't... It'd be shit, but let's say, okay. Just sell the games. Right, I got it, I got it. It'd be shit, but let's say, right, if you want the 20 games that we picked for NES and SNES Mini, you've got to buy one of those. Mm. Fuck you, customer, you're going to buy one of those. Mm. They still have an amazing library, yeah. which they could put on without those 40 games. Yeah, there are, there are games that people we're are just talking desperate about, to buy. We're just talking about NES and SNES here, which we shouldn't be. We should be demanding more. No. Why is it not Game Boy games or DS games, to be honest? I would, I would pay... 30 quid, 30, 30 English pounds to buy Earthbound on Switch. A game that has been out since 1996 or 4, whatever. Uh, I would pay 30 pounds to have that on my Switch. I, I don't know that's a scummy thing for them to do, but I would do it. I'd I mean, do it in a heartbeat. Even even Sony and Microsoft that don't have these massive back catalogues both have ways to play. Oh, look, Jump. Medieval is coming out. Both oh. have, not even like remakes. They, they both have ways. Uh, Sony has like a. Oh, Sony Play Now, Sony mm. Now, PlayStation Now, PlayStation Now, uh, which is a subscription service which you go buy into and you can play PS1 games. Yeah. And Xbox patched in. Excellent. Patched in 360 compatibility. Excellent. You know, and these two companies don't have don't have the strength that Nintendo does. They don't have the they don't audience. Have of time. They, they, don't have... they don't have the audience that is even demanding this stuff. No. To be honest. No, they don't. Because the type of people that. The Please. earliest games they have is Turok. Right. Whereas we've got fucking Mega Man X. Right. You know, we uh, as like a football club. Yeah, I get it. But I get it. It's a joke. It's awful. Uh, I just I just don't understand it. Because, oh God. Imagine you know, imagine the kids who are just like, look, I mean, the Switch eShop is awful. Because there's so few discoverability options. You can't find, it's so, if you want to find uh, a new game, you have to scroll through just so, oh, it's awful. Even from a UI perspective, it's just shit. It's so bad. Uh, just get someone else to design that UI. You didn't even do it that badly with the Wii. No, no. Or, it know. was all right. But the thing is, I'm, I've had a few times where I've gone, I want to buy a new game. Yeah. 
and I've looked, I've had to look through this, just lists and lists of games, and it's burnt me out, and I've not spent money yeah. because of how shit it is. That's just bad. It's bad. You know, and we're still here, and we still have friend codes, and we still can't create a party and have party chat. Yeah. And this is kind of what I was getting at with when I was saying, hey, it's a bit of a shame Nintendo just didn't release a box that was the same as an Xbox. There's yet. certainly so, so. certain aspects, like, I mean... Imagine if they were like, hey, hey, we, we have a box, and the online now is as good, and, and this box, okay, you can't undock it and it's going to cost you like on launch like 400 quid mm. because that's what the xbox and the ps4 cost right roughly mm. so like hey it's going to cost you a fucking bang and you can't undock it and there's nothing special about it but now you can do ma- online mario party with eight friends and you can all be in a voice chat together see so i see i don't even need to think they need to do as much with that to Change. I, I think the switches itself can have a better online. Oh, but I if they agree. make it. They could make it more powerful for like, so that you know all three all three consoles can play together and whatever. Like Rocket League can do it. Yeah. If they want to make like Call of Duty or FIFA yeah. on the same oh, no, level, I do agree. Like, imagine playing FIFA on your Switch or with someone on Xbox, and it's exactly the same thing. Yeah. And like you can have you talk to each other. You can yeah, have whatever. Yeah. You know that'd be fantastic. Nintendo would never do it because no. they they they're five old men. Agree, who... but let's let's again take it back. Let's just be proper realistic. Are you telling me that Nintendo can't get Discord running on their Switch? No, you have to make an you have to have an app on your smartphone. <laughs> because yeah, exactly. Because are you telling me Nintendo can't run a game? Uh... Because you can suspend games. Yeah. With the home button and then re come back into them. So you're telling me during that suspension you can't run something as small as Discord. And just have people talk with a earphones with a mic attached or something. I don't know, honestly, mate. I honestly, so I've been waiting for just just the virtual console for the last two years. Obviously, they, they don't think this is a priority, no. and they haven't for years, no. generations. But it is worth saying how awful it is, and it's one of those things which actually, like I said, says to a customer that really does care about games. This probably can't be the only console you'll need for the next mm. five years. Sure. No, I, I I can I can see that. It's it's a shame in that it has has so much potential. With a lot of Nintendo things, it's such a brilliant yeah. thing, but has so much potential. Sure. For to for ultimate greatness. It's like I it always has this open goal in front of it. I agree. But it always fucking misses. Somehow. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs>